Tonight is a Vulcan County Health and Wellness Foundation third Harvest for Health fundraiser. So we're here to to uh, uh, drum up some money. We're here to share information. We're here to educate people on what we're doing. Uh, we're here to give a few things away and have some fun. We've got good music, good food, and we've got some good energy in the room. We're trying to make a difference in the world in Vulcan County. Why should people come? Because you know what? Of anything that anybody could donate to in this county, donating to a care center that's all about wellness, that's going to have a historic footprint, going to redefine our clinic, redefine rehab and physio and adult day support, and the rest of the facility is going to be up, up, upgraded in the next few years. You know what? Each one of those donors, at least once in their lifetime, will touch this facility, okay? And I don't care if it's you, if it's your children, or if it's your grandchildren, everybody is going be touched by this facility so you know what we wanted the best it can be we want more services we want more for our communities uh, to access uh, and those are things in thinking 30 years down the road you need to you need to do a lot of crystal balling to make sure that you uh, do due diligence to an expansive to a project of this enormity this is our dream and it's coming closer and closer to reality so what we're doing here is we're gonna have an 800 square meter extension to the hospital and so we're coming out from the um, we're coming out from where the entrance is today, and then we're building out. So what that does for us, it gives the doctors a new clinic to work with. Um, it also helps us look at phase twos further on down the line when we're making the adjustment into the into the older part of the hospital. Now there's going to be some nice shifts in there that people will really like. But we're also built the hospital or the expansion to, to work with wellness. So there's a wellness component as, as we see people shift their lives today from uh, being um, more reactive to, to their Medicare to going now to being proactive. So what we really thought was important as a foundation was to add in things like, you know, a multi-use facility where we can have exercise groups or work with young families in yoga, adult care. Um, also where we have more technology with meeting rooms that we can meet with outside communities and uh, bring them together to talk about things, you know, with the chronic illnesses and, and uh, people. But it's also made so the doctors can have meetings with, you know, with families and things when, you know, times of need or, you know, even palliative care that they, you know, discussions are. So we've also brought in the rehab upstairs, which makes a lot more sense because it was downstairs before. Like you see on the poster, says this is our dream and let's make it yours. We're trying to educate our donors, let them know what it's all about. You feel the energy in the room. Um, we're excited about uh, about sharing our vision, our dream with, with people who live, eat, breathe and, and have their uh, families living in, in this community. So that's what it's all about. The goals for the evening, we gotta have a few goals tonight. And so last year we raised $110,000 at this function. That was awesome. Now, not everybody be shy about clapping so loud because we're going to raise it to $125,000 tonight. Are we in? Yeah. Can we do it? I think we can. So we're really excited about the expansion. We really want to make it more of um, a welcoming place so people that in the community and all the surrounding community can uh, come and uh, feel comfortable about coming, you know, both just, not just to meet the doctors, but also have a facility they know where they can learn about more of the wellness component in the, in the whole uh, scheme going forward. Now we're visioning 30 years, so you know we're trying to get it to uh, work together, but that's our dream, that's what we're trying to do. What are you expecting? Well, we've got uh, Burning Man over here, we got Doolin Pianos, great guys, fantastic entertainers. Uh, they're gonna help us uh, try to build some energy in the room, try to get everybody excited about uh, donating money and making sure that uh, they see the advantages of what that looks like. It's an all request show, so we don't have any plans or any set list, that's the first big thing. Uh, we have paper and pencil out at all the tables and people write down songs and bands the kinds of music they like and bring it up to us put it up here on the piano and we pass them back and forth and try to work it together into a cohesive show um, we have a lot of different sounds and instruments at our uh, disposal pianos but we also incorporate drums horns uh, we've spent a lot of time kind of working on our sound and trying to take people back to those songs that they're requesting and 
really a lot of interaction and getting people to sing along with us and uh, join in where they can dance. Um, it's just a really involved show and it's different every time because it's all based on who's here and uh, what mood they're in and uh, what kind of songs are coming up. Alright, help me out up there. Got a, an Italian feast. If you've if you've seen the spread, we've got some mani pasta over here. We've got Lamb Tastic Farms coming in with some uh, uh, local purveyors of lamb, and they're going to do a lamb meatball lemon spaghetti over here. That's just heroic. So, you know what? If you miss this, you're going to miss the best food uh, all year long in Vulcan County. Uh, uh, we do a lot of fundraisers in and around Alberta, Saskatchewan, BC, and. Uh, you know, our pleasure to help the different causes out. Uh, we usually, as we will be tonight, donate all of our uh, gratuities back to the cause. So, uh, if you've ever seen a dueling piano show, people tip for their songs or get their songs played faster sometimes. And uh, so that helps us sort of uh, order out the show a little bit. But uh, we'll be putting back all our money tonight that we pull in for tips uh, to the cause. How do you not miss it next year? You know what? Go on our website, have a look at it. It's going to be always, it's going to be either in the last week of October or the first week in November. Uh, we try to have our dates uh, well in advance, six months in advance. We'll be on our website. Touching me, touching me. Sing nice and loud. Emma. Oh.